All right, right now, guys, we are the second game. Monomushi versus Kisu. As you can see, if Kisu takes the victory, it pushes Seaweed Chicken to the final. But do take note that Monomushi has not dropped a single game in the entire tournament so far. This guy has been winning everything and everything. All the game, everything. This guy is a real champion. So right now, Kisu, all he needs to do is just get a proper duff and win and push the team to the final. But Monomushi, on the other hand, needs to win this to get a game three. I low key want Monomushi to win so that I can get a game three. That's gonna be hella exciting. Yeah, so Monomushi picks the race. Again, strong pick, but looks like these guys have not been paying attention to my commentary because again, didn't awaken. No six awakening. No idea what's going on. I need to find out why is Series Six awakened right now, man, because it might prove to be very important. While I'm checking, so Kisu went with the Lilius Tomoka, and when you see a Tomoka, immediate pick of Celine. He's like, you know what? Do your buff, lah. Do your buff, then I kill you. But you have to go through. Art artifact check like yesterday there was one match the Celine did not fall the artifact didn't manage to kill Tomoka and that proved to be very vital yeah it proved to be the decisive moment you know sometimes artifact if it's not plus 30 it's actually plus zero yeah goes with the flurry a very solid pick as well again if you see like what Ruby did earlier flurry was so good the continuously combat radiance push armor break provoke actually just just limiting one unit right there right for two turns so Kisu goes with the Alencia banner pick again a very strong Alencia, a very good unit, a very good unit paired with really good um, gears. Solid as well, can do big damage. Yeah, so draft wise, it's very balanced. Right? That's counter to each other, but it really depends on the band, on who's moving first. But ideally, I would expect Team Monomushi to move first with the Ceres and Fluri. So Kisu will have to draft to see how he can go against it. He picks a Kron. Yes, sir. The K1 is a good pick, but will he see the light? I mean, judging from the K1 pick, it would seem that it's gonna ban. Clury, because if Clury gets the provoke and the armor break, his Kairon is never going to do ulti and going to be good night Kairon. So it really depends on how Monomushi reacts to this. But in draft wise, I do believe that Monomushi has the upper hand right now. Do have the upper hand with the amount of control, the speed, and SSB pick as well. Slap, slap, pa, 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 with the fan right there. Gay unit, I'm telling you, no way. No way. This guy is not picking Luna. He's probably picking, no way. I wish to see a Luna, but no way. No way! Oh, again, what's with all this unit at 5 Awakening? I, that's the only thing I can see that is very consistent in Monomushi's pick. Right, I think Fifth Awakening, oh, he picks with the Eras. Okay, he picks an Eras pick. Again, Eras and Kluri. They are couples, right? And Kisu goes with the Rowena pick. That is very true. I do believe that Ruby is the one who asked Kisu to pick Rowena because SSB right there and Ceres, so much dual attack means so much combat readiness push for Kisu and heal as well so it really depends on the ban who is he gonna ban? I do believe you're gonna ban Kluri for Kisu so as for Monomushi maybe get out get rid of Rana. yes and he gets rid of Rana as well so no he has no combat readiness as you can see I'm also a tier 3 player because I, I identified the bans yeah I identified the bans so you just have to see whether Kisu can withstand the first two hits or not the first two hit. Ah, by the way, Suri's six awakening is crit chance, so it doesn't really matter, lah. Okay, doesn't really matter. Okay, back to the back to the game. Suri goes take, gets turn one, expected, but right now it really depends on the effectiveness or not. Effectiveness, or she's gonna stun. I mean, you have to go with the strip. Yeah, that's most important. Okay, so he tries to go for the a frost storm. Trips everybody fails to let any be up, but Lilia's cut and she's gonna cleanse the entire team. This is a 240 250. Just I think this Lilia is built for Ceres, man. It's like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's me, Lilia's right here. High effect resistance, Lilia. Tomoka is gonna go give the entire team combat readiness and probably have a chance to snipe the Celine or even the SSB if she has enough damage, man. It really depends on the artifacts. Is there a dignity of artifact? Oh, she just goes. No she no fear. She oh, is this enough? <gasps> Alhamdulillah, guys. This is why you must pull out when it's wrong. Oh, the defense break. Now this, now Kisu right now is in a huge problem with that defense break right there. I mean, with the dual attack right here, you can just get Tomoka out of the picture. Okay, one damage dealer out. Boom, big damage by anti Celine. K1 on the other hand can probably do all to the gateway of Celine, but whoo, right now it's 3 on 3. The defense break really huge, but then again, I, I, I didn't really notice the, the, the artifact. Maybe Kisu's artifact was not was not Dignal Orb. I mean, if it's Dignal Orb, then because he couldn't do the second skill, so the artifact is when useless, right? So Alinsa is going to give defense buff. It's 3 on 3 right now. 
it really depends if Monomoshi SSB can just slap, 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 slap and give armor break and potentially eliminate the thing. But there's a lack of damage. The only damage shot is from SSB. Kiso on the other hand has defense buff, has Lilius, has dual attack, has shield. Kero on the other hand, Kero on the other hand has attack buff, immortality. The Kero potentially can have two buff, but there is a there is a buff block. If Monomushi can bring down the Kron on time, then Kisu will have a problem. But rest assured, you must believe in Alencia. It is Alencia, Alencia's banner week, so he's really thinking, should I provoke or should I do my skill? So he provokes the Celine, Cerise to prevent a stun, which is rather smart, but... So again, the Lilius card because you get 50% combat advantage from the second skill. So what he's going to do? Is he going to go for, for the first skill on Cerise? Is he going to go first skill on... SSB. Either way, he's gonna get slapped to the face from SSB fan. Right? She's just look at that SSB. She's just waiting. Come on, you know. Okay, so he goes for SSB. Gets defense break. Okay, who's who turn is next? Next is Cerise and Aras. Okay, so if Kron can move and potentially crit SSB, maybe SSB is gone. Okay, Delius is again about to go down. Aras is probably gonna put defense buff as well for his entire team. Oh, this is really close. This is really close. At the current moment, Monomoshi looks like she has, he do has the slight upper hand right now, yeah? Checking the turn order to see what's going on. Really going through, but do take note, you have 10 more seconds, yeah? Because if he wins this, burn. this team will go to a third match. And that's what all was to see. So he goes, Son of Light, burn, heals himself, give his team defense buff. So Kron right now has a big job. Can he crit through SSB? Can oh, he goes with that? Be the first kill. Ah, Jinja. He missed on both water. Times like this, it just feeds bad, man. RNG really working on Monomushi's favor. So he go. Oh, 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 hold on a little longer. Stop the front door. Wow. NG on seaweed chicken side. That is that that is luck right there. I mean, I mean. Alencia went and got a dual attack from Kron and Kron annihilated the SSB. That is the type of stuff you don't want to see, man. It's like your girlfriend comes to say, hey man, I'm pregnant. Oh my god, you don't want this kind of feeling, man. Again, Lilius went, gets a dual attack because of Lilius does. So, can can Monomoshi continue with his lap? Or will Kisu take it? Because the Kron, if you can bring Kron down, it's just Lilius and, and Alencia. So, Kron looks like it's about to go down, yeah? It's about to go down. So Cerise again goes with the all team. Probably gonna try to see if he can land slow debuff on Alencia and probably try to continuously lap. So Lilius is down. Oh, Jinja. Oh my god, this is going back and forth. This is like swing up, down, up, down. The ball is going left and right. The ball is going left and right. Dual attack from Alencia. Can Alencia get a turn and bring down this A Rust with a crit? It really depends. He goes with the soul burn. Can he get a defense break? No defense break. Crits on service nevertheless, but it pushes service up. Service is guiding like so Alencia can only go on Aras. Can he crit Aras? He missed. Can the follow-up crit Aras? It crits as well because Alencia banner. Does it, is it enough though? Oh, it's not enough. Oh my god, I think the ball is gone to Monomoshi's side. It do looks like Monomoshi is about to win this match and take it to a game three. Dual attack again. Alencia really slow. There's so much combat readiness. Aras has with his innate skill tree has combat readiness. Service combat readiness and shows again dual attack King Chong form. With the armor break, the but he missed on attack. Ah, oh, doesn't look like Kisu has this on the tower. It was really close match, man. But I think Monomoshi has the upper hand in this game. Really super close. I do. I thought that when SSB go down with the Alencia dual attack, I thought it was the over. But whoo, this has been a really close game. Ching, ching, ching. And yes, congratulations, Monomoshi. You just brought your team to a 1-1. And we, we're going to the next match. The deciding match to see who goes to the final. What an entertaining game. And I'll pass back to you.